Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at PDFs. How do you handle them when it comes to Google Classroom and Google Drive? So I have two PDFs open down here. One's a periodic table and the other's a worksheet. So if I wanted to incorporate these into Google Drive or Google Classroom, how would I do that? One simple way to get these into your Google Drive is to locate them in their folder on your computer. Then what you want to do is restore this window down. And you can make it even smaller by dragging the corner if you want to. I can locate the files. I know this classes table is the periodic table and the other one is right here, elements, compounds, and mixtures. So they're right next to each other. It makes it easy. Okay, so there they are. Now in the background here, I'm gonna get rid of this screen, reduce that. And now I have my drive in the background, as you can see. I'm gonna pick a folder I want these to go into. In a previous video, I set up an example folder here, so I'm gonna use that one. So you can see I'm missing that window, but I know it's down here somewhere. It's in my programs, it's in the file explorer. It's gonna be right here, I'll click that. And now that pops up again. Okay, so now I have my file explorer open here. And if I wanna highlight these files, I can highlight one. I can go over the next one. I can hold down control, left click. Now they're both highlighted. So I'm gonna left click. I'm gonna drag those over into my example folder. I'm gonna go down to the worksheets subfolder that's in resources. So I have example folder, resources, worksheets. I'm gonna drop it there. I'm gonna let go of my left click. You can see down at the bottom right hand corner, it says that it's uploading two items. Now it says that they're complete and they should be in there. So let's check. I'm gonna click now. Here I am in drive, click on my worksheets folder and I should see here they are the two PDFs. Okay, let's click on them and see what happens. Here's my table, double click and it should open in your Google Drive. Okay, there it is. At the top it says open with. So let's take a look at that. If I click on that, there are some apps that pop up. Kami is one of them. And what that allows you to do is annotate, markup, highlight a PDF document. I also put another app on myself and that was called Doc Hub. Very similar to Kami, you can edit, you can modify, you can put text boxes over top of a PDF. And then there's Google Docs and Nearpod. There's some that I have on mine. So I'm gonna click on Google Docs and let's see what happens. Okay, so what it tried to do is convert this file. Let's see how it did. Oh, this isn't looking so good. It just converted it into a long list of elements with their properties. So that is not gonna work for a Google Doc. Now you might be thinking, why would I want it as a Google Doc? And I would ask the same question. So this is not a file that you need to really put in a Google Doc format. So I'm just gonna to go to this Google Doc. I'm gonna hit file and I'm gonna say move to trash. All right, next let's take a look at this one. I'm gonna double click on elements, compounds, and mixtures. Now let's take a look at that again. I'm gonna say open with Google Docs and let's see how it converts this one into a Google Doc. So it did convert, since there's more text, it did convert it, but you can see there's some formatting issues here. So I'm not really liking what it looks like. No, it's, it's the formatting's all messed up, as you can see. Okay, so again, I'm gonna trash this. We don't need this document. Gonna to move to trash. In the case of a worksheet like this one, there is a trick that you can do to keep the original format, and that's to convert it to a Word document first. So let me show you how to do that. I'm gonna open up Word. I actually have it open already. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this PDF worksheet. I'm gonna again, click just this one. I don't need to select that one. Just gonna select one. And this time I'm gonna click and drag it over into this just Word document space right here. It doesn't matter where, somewhere over here. It can be at the top here over here, I'm gonna drop it. When I do that, a window will pop up. The window, it's kind of hidden, I'm gonna click on it, here it is. It says Word will now convert your PDF to an editable Word document, so I'm gonna hit OK. And now here's my Word document. Take a look, it looks very similar to the actual worksheet. It didn't change the font, it didn't change the spacing. It looks pretty good to me. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna see if there's a way, I, it says read only. I'm gonna see if there's a way I can edit it. I'm gonna click on view, edit. And then here we have our Word document. I'm gonna check it. It looks great so far. And you can see here, this chart is the same as it was. It's intact, pretty close. I have my diagrams, that matching section looks great. The chart looks great. Okay, so this was a successful conversion from the PDF to a Word document. Now, where is this Word document? Well, I'm gonna do File Save As, make sure I know where it's saved to. I'm gonna put it in my chemistry folder, that's where this other document was. Hit Save. Now I'm gonna close that. And it's actually right here, here it is. Elements, Compounds, and Mixtures. So I'm gonna keep that open. 
Now we're going to do the same thing we did before. This time, I'm going to drag and drop this Word document into Google Drive. Here we are in the Google Drive, just like we did before. I'm going to restore this down. There we go. And now I have my document over here, and I can drag it over into Google Drive. Before I do that, I want to show you a setting. You want to make sure the setting is checked. So go up here to this gear icon, click on settings, and you want to make sure this is checked right here, convert uploads. You want it to convert the uploads automatically to Google Docs editor format. This will change Word documents into Google Docs. It'll change PowerPoint into Slide. It'll change Excel documents into Google Sheets. So once that's checked, I'm going to hit done. I'm going to go over here again. I'm going to hit restore down. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this Word document. I'm going to drag the Word document over here to Worksheets. You can just drag it right here. Now the upload is complete. I can go over here. I'm going to expand this again. And now let's take a look at our new Google Docs version of this worksheet. So you can see by taking the extra step to make this a Word document first, I was able to preserve all of the formatting, which is key, saves you so much time. Now, why would I want to do this? Well, the reason I would want to do this is now I can take this Google Doc version of this file that we made, this worksheet. I could put this on Google Classroom really easily, and I can set it as an assignment to make a copy for each student. This way, the students will be able to fill out and answer these questions on the actual document. So I hope this video helped you get a better grasp of how to deal with PDFs and how you might use those PDFs in terms of using it in Google Classroom. As always, if you need to get a hold of me, please contact me at my email at kbollendorf at fleetwoodasd.org. Thanks and have a great day.